I'm gonna be showing it, and I'm gonna be showing you how to make a pin, a pinch knot vase. So all you need for this is your clay and your cup of water, or just anything with water. So first, you just get your clay, and then you make it in a ball. You can either use your hands to just kind of shape it into a ball and roll it all around, or you can just roll it on the on a flat surface. And then you make a ball. Then you stick your thumb through. You gotta push kind of hard. And then almost to the bottom, but still, like, if it pokes through the bottom, it's okay because it's really easy to fix. But just poke your thumb almost to the very bottom, but don't let it go through. And then you just use your fingers to widen it a bit. Like this. And then literally all you have to do is pinch around it. So just go around. You can use both your hands. You can use your fingers. I'm just using like these fingers. <laughs> Just keep going around, around, around until you feel like it's the right shape and how big you want it to be. Yours might end up being small or big. Just depends on how much you keep pinching it. Then you can shape it as you go. I'm just gonna fix that up a bit. Almost done. If you guys want yours to be bigger, you can just keep pinching, but it'll keep getting thinner. And I don't want it to be that thin. But it doesn't really matter because once it hardens, it might break easily if it's thin, but it doesn't really matter that much. And then, so I made my vase. That is my palm. It's pretty tall. And then, just keep fixing it up. And then what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna use the water. And you don't have to do this, but I'm gonna. Um, so I'm gonna get my some of my water on my finger after this. And then I'm gonna smoothen it all out and smoothen the hard places. No, the, sorry. I'm gonna smoothen out the pieces, the cracks, so then it's just super smooth. Okay, so I'm just gonna dab one of my fingers in, and then I'm gonna go around the whole thing, and I'm just gonna smoothen my finger on the cracks all the way around. It's a lot of big cracks. And then I'm just gonna go along the outside when I'm done going around, around. And then I'm gonna kinda fix it up as I go because mine isn't the greatest, but it's okay. No one's just gonna be perfect. So, this craft is really easy. All you have to do is, well, all you need is a cup of water or a cup of, well, it doesn't have to be a cup, just anything, well, you don't need water, but I'm using water and I think it's good to smoothen it out because then it'll be nicer and everything like that. And then you need well, you don't need, need a hard surface to do it on, but this clay is pretty messy, so don't want to get it on like some nice furniture or anything. And then you just need your clay, and then you roll your clay in a ball. Then you, then you stick your thumb in it, then you just pinch around it and keep pinching. And then once you like it, you smoothen it. Mine's pretty smooth. Then, you, yeah, you smoothen it, and then after you smoothen it, 
you, I guess you just, you leave it to air dry. Yep, I think this clay is air dry clay where it just dries out. Then you can paint it or do anything with it. And I'm gonna put plant in here. See how my insides are smooth, pretty smooth. Then I'm just gonna take a bit of water and then go along the edges and make them nice and smooth all the way around. And I'm gonna make them the same size, kind of. Like, I'm gonna make them in line because mine are actually going pretty crazy. Yeah, it's straight. It's kind of hard because mine gets really thin because it's actually really big. Well, it's pretty big. Just keep smoothing it out. Then, once you feel you're done, you just, when you feel like you're very, very done after you do all these steps, you just leave it to air dry and then you're done after that. It'll be hard and then it'll be a vase of Oz, vase, vase. You can put anything in here. You can put jewelry, you can put a plant, which is what I'm gonna do. Yeah, you can definitely put anything you want. It would probably fit, jewelry would actually be really good in here. Cause like, my whole fist fits in it. Well, not really. I'm just gonna do my final touches and then I'll be done. And you just, like I've said a lot of times, just leave it to air dry and you'll be fully, fully done. So mine is very, very wet, which it's good not to get it too wet, but I kind of did mine very wet. So this is my finished result. Around is pretty smooth. And then before it dries, you can always fix it up. And then this is the inside. It actually goes pretty deep, like, like if I just go like this, it's pretty deep. And then, just do your final, final touches, and then when you're done, like I am, you just wait for, like, till the like, next day, let's say, and then it'll be dry. And that's how you make a pinch knot. Vaz.